Fire Pump Alignment Inspection One of the most crucial steps of fire pump inspection is making sure that the coupled fire pump and driver are properly aligned. There are many factors that can affect alignment, including thermal expansion and equipment maintenance. Coupled fire pumps and drivers that are misaligned are far more likely to fail and cause disruption of service. There are multiple times when the alignment of the pump and driver should be checked. During installation, there are several times that the alignment inspection must be performed. These include before grouting the base plate, after grouting the base plate, after connecting the piping, and after the first run. During the life history of the pump, there are several instances where an alignment inspection must be performed. These include after a unit has been serviced, after changes have been made to the piping system in the fire pump room, and on an annual basis as part of the annual fire pump test. If the pump is found to be misaligned after it was properly installed, the possible causes are settling, seasoning, or springing of the foundation, pipe stress distorting or shifting the pump, wear of the bearings, springing of the base plate due to temperature variations, shifting of the building structure due to variable loading or other causes. There are two forms of misalignment between the pump shaft and the driver shaft. Angular misalignment, shafts with axes parallel but not concentric. Parallel misalignment, shafts with axes not concentric. Alignment is critical to pump and driver longevity and generally the better the alignment, the longer the pump and driver bearing life. The three most common and acceptable alignment methods are straight edge, dial indicator, laser optic. A fire pump alignment inspection should be conducted annually. The contractor or qualified personnel will begin by disassembling the protective guard and the interlocking steel grid on the coupling. Next, they will perform the inspection to verify the gap between the two coupling halves. In this case, the gap between the two halves is too large. Based on the manufacturer's specification for this coupling, the gap will need to be reduced to within the manufacturer's tolerance. The coupling halves should be evenly spaced on each side of the shaft. For a straight edge inspection, a straight edge is laid across the flanges of the coupling hubs. Shim changes are estimated, and the alignment is attained through a process of trial and error. Here we see that the coupling half on the right side is lower than the left side. This indicates the pump is out of alignment. Here we see that the coupling half on the far side is out to the right of the half on the near side. This indicates the pump is out of alignment. The gap shown in this case from the straight edge could be within manufacturer's tolerances. This would need to be confirmed with the manufacturer. Once the pump and driver have been aligned, the alignment should be inspected again. Ideally, there would be no gap shown when a straight edge is used. There are two basic dial indicator methods. The single indicator method uses a single dial indicator to take both the rim and face reading. Shim changes can then be calculated for the motor feet to correctly align the unit. The reverse indicator method uses a dial indicator on the pump shaft to read the motor shaft, and a dial indicator on the motor shaft to read the pump shaft. Mathematical formulas can then be used to calculate shim changes to correctly align the unit. This state-of-the-art system emits a pulsating laser beam that automatically determines relative shaft positions. The laser is especially helpful when aligning shafts that are separated by more than a few inches. The laser systems also have software that can calculate the shim changes required. The advantage of modern laser optic alignment devices far outweighs the possible initial cost advantages of other, more conventional methods. The pump shaft is then rotated and three readings are taken. Once the inspection is completed, the process to align the pump and driver can be completed. 
The alignment inspection will need to be completed several times during the alignment of the pump and driver, and a final time once everything has been aligned and the pump and driver are fully secured to the base. As mentioned previously, an alignment inspection should be completed annually. Qualified personnel should complete the inspection and be ready to make adjustments to the pump to correct misalignment.